Greetings, my fellow SpongeBob fans. In today's video, we're going to be talking about more SpongeBob Easter eggs. A lot of these are from season 12, and they're pretty darn cool. Like, they're very interesting and reference a lot of older episodes. So let's get started. So in the world of SpongeBob, it seems that everyone wants a pet snail, with them pretty much serving as dogs or cats. Heck, even Squidward gets one at one point. Remember Snelly? Well, one snail that is often forgotten is Mrs. Puff's pet snail, Annette. She made her first appearance in the season 3 special, The Sponge Who Could Fly, but sadly has not been seen much since, aside from a few video game appearances. Well, this all changed in the season 12 episode, My Two Crabses. During this scene, we can see that Mrs. Puff has a picture of Annette in her house, thus making for a neat little reference. I do wonder though, what happened to the snail? Like, does Mrs. Puff still have her? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. But for now, here's a clip. Please help! My snail is up a tree! I've had her since I was a little girl! But now it looks like the end of her world! No! Gotcha! Next time, try the elevator. Thank you for... Okay, Mr. Krabs, here we are. Just remember everything we practice and your date will go just fine. Good luck. Yeah, don't blow it. <laughs> oh, is that you, Eugene? Mm. Yes. Yes. Our next Easter egg can be found in the Season 9 episode, Bulletin Board, and I'm actually pretty proud of it, this is a cool one. In this episode, the Krusty Krab puts up a community bulletin board, and lets customers use the board for feedback. Now, this episode is actually pretty good, but it's not the plot that matters. What actually matters is this Easter egg. In the classic episode, Uh, it's literally just titled Uh, there is a gag where Patrick, or well, Patar, his distant ancestor, puts salt on his hand and tries to eat it. It happens a couple times throughout the episode. Well, it seems this is referenced in Bulletin Board, as this exact same gag happens during this scene. You can see Patrick put his hand into his mouth, salt it, and put it back in. What a cool easter egg. Here's a clip. <laughs> He's brilliant. He's a diabolical genius, that's what he is. Mr. Krabs, the grill's gone cold. Nobody's ordering, son. Our next Easter egg revolves around the season one episode, Muscle Bob Buff Pants. After getting roasted by Sandy for not being as strong or fit, SpongeBob resorts to some interesting methods to prove her wrong, and purchases a new product he sees on TV known as Anchor Arms. These things are pretty much gloves that can be inflated with air to look like muscles, and SpongeBob is sold pretty fast after seeing the commercial, with him ordering himself a pair so he can lie and flex on all of his friends. Well, this devious product is actually referenced in the Season 11 episode, Handemonium. Right at the beginning of the episode, we see the outside of Larry's gym, and if you look closely, there is graffiti that reads Anchor Arms are for Wimps, thus making a direct reference to the classic Season 1 episode. There's also another easter egg here, but let me know in the comments if you spotted it. Are you a weakling? Built like a sponge? Well now you too can have muscles! Huh? With Anchor Arms! They slip on like a glove! Just add air! How big do you want them? Normal, baby, and for the ladies, Harry. Welcome everyone to the Secret Anchor Arm Wrestling Club! Oh, yeah! ooh, 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 ooh. The episode One Course Meal is all about plankton, 
with us learning that he has an extreme, and I mean extreme fear of Pearl, due to her being a whale. This is actually really funny, as it's scientifically accurate due to whales being able to consume about 15 tons of plankton in one single day. Plankton even references this at one point of the episode, thus making it even funnier, but anyways. Plankton's fear of Pearl was recently referenced in the episode The Ghost of Plankton. In this episode, the Flying Dutchman teaches Plankton how to be a ghost, and when he showcases his transformation skills, he turns into Pearl, and this scares the absolute heck out of Plankton. I'm going to show a clip, but before I do, I just want to say thank you so much for all of the support on the channel, guys. Seriously. I say this every time, but yeah, I'm Cartoon Cory, and I love every single one of you. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. If you do, uh, I'll get the Flying Dutchman to teach you how to be a ghost. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? We could all be ghosts together. Go and scare Squidward. Anyways, here's those clips, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I think she's extra hungry today. Stay back, whale. I'm privy to what you do to organisms like me. I've seen those documentaries. Did he just go into the freezer? Don't say it. That should keep her out. I want plankton meat. Holy protozoa. Karen, she's here. She got in. I'm a horrible thing. And poof. Ah! Be calm.